All right, guys, so fun holiday. I know you guys are all gonna be eating your tacos and hitting your pinatas and drinking margaritas. So you've gotta get your workout in today so you can sweat off everything that you eat. Um, if you wanna be fun and festive, go ahead and do all of these circuits through five times for Cinco de Mayo. All right, so we're gonna do a bent over dumbbell row. So grab whatever weights that you have at home. You're going to grab your dumbbells. You're gonna hinge forward, nice athletic stance at the feet. You're going to pull the lawn lower back, both arms. One, two, three. Shoulder blades should be squeezing those spine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Two, three. Four, one more. Good, now we're gonna go into a kickback with these dumbbells. So we're gonna use our triceps. So it's kick it back, squeeze. One, two, three. Work in the back of the arm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One more. Good, set those down. We're gonna go into our cardio burst, which I need because it's freezing outside today. Let's go, 30 seconds. In that plank position, if you can't run, you can modify it like this, or just hold a regular plank, but we have 30 seconds. Get some core and cardio in on this one. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Good. We're gonna go into circuit number two, guys. All right, we're gonna lay down, grab your dumbbells. Man, that wind got us. Like I said, wouldn't be me if there wasn't bloopers. All right, so we're gonna lay it down, grab your dumbbells. You're gonna go over your chest, let them fall out to the sides. One, dumbbell chest fly. Two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Good. Eight, four more. Nine. 10, two more. Last one. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna grab our bench or a chair, whatever that you have at home. We're gonna do a single leg squat. So one leg is out in front of you. We're gonna sit it back. One, two, three, four, five. Now don't just like plop down. Make sure you're nice, slow, and controlled on the way down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, almost there. Two more, last one. Good, we're gonna go into our cardio burst where we're jumping rope. And because I am not a coordinated person who can actually jump with the jump rope, we're gonna use an air jump rope. Here we go, 30 seconds. Good job, guys. I'm always so impressed by those people who can jump rope. But alas, coordination has failed me. Good job, guys. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done. Good. Going into circuit number three, we're going to do front step up. So find your bench or your chair. Front step, squeeze. One. Two, I'd like these to be high, if you can. 
four, five, six, seven. You can also use weight on these if you want. Nine, 10, two more, one more. Good, other side. One, two, three, four. Be pushing from that glute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One more. Good. Now we're going to get on the bench. We're going to raise our legs and do some glutes. So you're gonna go squeeze, cross, squeeze, down. Squeeze, cross, squeeze, down. Good. You can do these on the ground if you don't have a bench. I just like being able to have that additional deficit. Good. Good. Seven. Eight. Good. Let's switch sides. Good, that's 10. On these, it's not about how high you can get your leg, it's about squeezing the booty. So however high the booty lets you get, because we don't want to send this into our low back. So it's squeeze, cross, squeeze, down. Squeeze, cross, squeeze, down. Good job, guys. Five more. Good. Three. Two. Last one. Good. All right, we're gonna move to our mats. We're gonna do a plank pike to tap. If you cannot do the movement on this, just go ahead and hold a regular plank or a modified plank from your knees. So it's plank, hike, tap, plank, hike, tap. We got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, done. Fourth circuit, we're gonna get on our mat on a tabletop position. We're gonna do fire hydrants, working the outer hip. You're gonna look like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. So, leg is at a 90 degree, we're gonna come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, two more. Last one. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, two more. Last one. Good, we're gonna lay it on our side. We're gonna grab our dumbbell. We're gonna do some inner thigh work. I like to lay on my forearm. The leg in the front is straight, foot is flexed. That's the important part. You're gonna put one side of the dumbbell head on the calf and one side on that inner thigh. Flex, come up, one, two, three, four. Knee and toe are pointed towards the front of the room. Six, seven, flex that foot, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good, we're gonna switch to the other side. Good, put that dumbbell on, flex that toe, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five. Four, three, two, 
Good, set that dumbbell down. We're gonna go into a ab exercise or a stabilization exercise. We're gonna do pointer dogs on all fours, alternating opposite arm, opposite leg for 30 seconds. Nice, slow and controlled. If you're doing them fast, you're doing them wrong. Good job, guys. If you want to bring this up into that plank position and make it way harder, you can do that. You can also get a BOSU ball under your knees and try stabilization that way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done. All right, guys. Awesome job again today. Thanks for working out with me. Have fun tonight. Be safe. Enjoy your Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday. Um, eat as many tacos and all the yummy things and queso and chips and margaritas and have fun. Enjoy today and make the best of it. We're in this together, guys. Quarantine Taco Tuesday 2020.